All right, everybody, welcome to the stream today. Thank you for joining me. We actually tried to do this stream yesterday and we couldn't because everything was dead. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it right this time here. So today I'm gonna be reviewing, doing a quick little review, unboxing, first impressions of the Rovivon A8X flashlight. I did buy this on Amazon. It was about 65 Canadian dollars, I believe. Came in a box like this. Little of that good stuff there. And then there's the light there in this big box, right? Big box, little tiny light. And overall, I gotta say, I am really digging the size on this light. Look at that. On the box here, this is for a couple different lights. So this isn't necessarily the box for this light particularly. But as you can see here, this is the Aurora A8X UV. So this is the UV model of this. They have a couple different models. One is a UV light and one doesn't. And for me, I'm going to the UV light for sure. So let's go ahead and take it out of this little box here. Go over all the specifics we got. So there it is. There's the little tiny light. Like, look at that. That is that is really small. When you see it in the case, it's sometimes tough to get a handle on the exact size. But we take that out of there and look at that light. Like, I don't have huge hands, you know what I mean? And that's about the size of my little finger. So for some people, this is going to be sort of sub little finger size for you which is absolutely crazy. It's always just amazing what they can do with technology these days and get it down to these miniaturized sizes. Let's see what else it comes with when you purchase it. A few different extras with it. I have to zoom out a little tiny bit there. So you get a micro USB-C, or sorry, I didn't micro USB-C, micro USB charging cable. So USB-A to USB micro here. So you probably have a million of these at home that you can already go ahead and use, but gives you another one there. Get a little warranty card. Let's be honest, you're not going to use this, but it does give it to you should you want it. Gives you a little fold out instruction manual here. This is totally adequate. This gives you all the information that you might need to see. Put it beside a double A battery for comparison. Oh, we could probably find a double A battery there, Tom. Give us just a moment. So it's going to tell you everything you need to know here. That's a great comparison as well. So it's pretty easy. It does have a few things you have to learn. It's easy to use. At the end of the day, it is a flashlight. You know, it's not going to be ultra complex to use, but it does have a number of features that you get on this light. Now, the last two little goodies that it comes with here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you there. So look at that. That's beside a double A battery. So you get a good sense. I mean, it's basically the size of a double A battery. Let's zoom in a little bit more there. So it's basically the size of a double A battery, more or less, right? So extremely small. You got a triple A there too. Look at that by a triple A, right? So we're we're talking about a very, very small light here. Now it does give does give you a keychain lanyard here. So you can put this onto here if you want to put this on your keychain. Based on the size, this is going to be a good light to be on your keychain if that's what you're looking for. I'm looking for more of an everyday carry sort of a light. I'm kind of I think I'm getting old. I'm putting together an everyday carry kind of a bag here, but it's a lot of fun once you get started, man. And, and a flashlight is just a necessary tool. So you get a belt lip loop here, which is very cool to see on here because this does have a mode and it'll act as kind of a safety light. And this is something you can put on your backpack while you're running around, but it does just give you something to clip that to, clip it to your belt, clip it to your hat. Um, you know, don't use it if you want. Easy to take off if you don't want it on there but handy if you do want to clip it to something. I want to compare it to a couple other items I have here. So here's a standard lighter. So you can see it beside a lighter there. Very, very small as we compare it to a lighter. Lighter is a good thing to have in an everyday carry. Sometimes you want to have a mini lighter though, right? You don't need a full size necessarily. Now here's another light that I have. This is the Phoenix EO3R. Now, as you can see, when it comes to height, that one's even smaller, right? This is an even smaller light. Where was my camera? There we go. This is an even smaller light than that in the one dimension. In the other dimension, it's a little bit different, right? This is another really good... That's right. Yeah, exactly, Tommy. Kind of a hip pouch. Hip pouch worn on the front is a good way to... Uh... What the heck do I got going on with this light here? I turned this light on accidentally here and I don't know how to turn it off. There we go, okay. This is another really good everyday carry sort of a light here, but this one has a number of other features. It's newer, right? It's newer and technology moves quickly. This is another really good everyday carry sort of a light. I'm gonna show you one more here. Here's a full-size flashlight. So this is my Olight Seeker 3. So yeah, 
just a little bit of a different kind of a caliber, right? All do the same thing, but they're different tools designed for specific things. Now let's go ahead and pull out the ruler here. Let's get an actual measurement on what we got. Now we're going tip to tip. The body kind of starts there, but if we're looking at tip to tip, absolute ends to absolute end, it's just over 60 millimeters. I believe it's 60.5 millimeters. And the weight on this is only 14.8 grams, believe it or not. So in a way, it's kind of weightless. 14.8 grams ain't nothing in terms of weight. You're not going to be feeling that. So let's go ahead and look at the actual functions of the light here. I want to show you this, show you how it actually works. I did take it out this morning here, and I got to say I was quite impressed with the performance. So the first thing, which is a cool feature, here's the button, as you can see. It's You have to make an effort to press it. Like, you're not going to accidentally press it, which I like, because it is going to go in a pocket or something like that. You do have to make an effort. First mode is you're just going to hold this, and then it's going to turn the light on. I don't believe it turns it on the maximum um, intensity. I believe it's the second to maximum. So just below the maximum intensity, you hold that, and it turns on. What a handy feature. I don't see this on my other flashlights. I've got about three or four other ones, but that is a super handy feature because you can just grab it, hold the button, turn it on. You don't have to remember any settings. You don't have to remember anything. Just hold the button, and that's going to turn the light on. So a really handy feature there. Now, to turn on the actual light itself, you're going to double-click this main button. Everything is done with this main button, so you don't have to remember instructions. So double-click is going to turn it on. That's going to be light level 2, 3, 4, the maximum intensity. And then this is just a very, very low light. When you're on this very low light here, this is going to work for about 70 hours. So you get about 70 hours of battery on that super, super low light, and then it gets more intense from there. Between the high and the ultra high, I didn't notice that much intensity difference. Like when I use it outside, it is absolutely brighter, but it certainly isn't double or anything that it seems to say it is. So I would probably use this one here, number three out of four, as my most common setting. But you do get that extra setting if you need to turn it up to 11. Now to turn it off in any mode, you just hold this button and you only hold it for 0.3 seconds and that turns it off. So I'll show you that. Hold that. There you go. Now the light is turned off. See, even that, you get a little bit of heat built up. Something this small, heat is going to be an issue for sure. That's like the one thing they're trying to mitigate more than anything is the heat. So heat's always going to be a factor in something this small. So that's your first set of settings there. So we hold it, and that's going to turn it on. If we double-click it, that's going to be our main flashlight mode. But this has a number of other modes here. Believe it or not, it has two other modes on this tiny little flashlight. First one's going to be when we triple-click. One, two, three. Now we see this blue light going on here with a little yellow kicker on the side. Now what is this blue light, you ask? Well, this is the UV light. So this can be used for checking bank notes. This can be used for you know, checking for bodily fluids at hotel rooms or anything. But another thing that UV light can be used for is charging the loom on your watch. So I'm holding this, you do, and it doesn't take long. It takes a few seconds. And if you can see that, the intensity of the loom, see if you can try to see it there as best I can. It's really hard to see the loom here. Yeah, you can't, you can't really see it there. But when you do that to the loom, it will glow with the maximum brightness you could ever imagine. It's crazy. If you have a watch with loom on it, take a UV light to it for a couple seconds in a dark room, it will glow like you have never seen it glow before. You can almost see it in the daylight here. That's how bright it goes. So that's really cool about the UV light. And I like that that's built in there. Now, again, just like with the main uh, mode there, we're going to press the button one time to cycle through. Then we get a very, very bright red light. Like this one is super bright. This seems like strength three out of four to me on the other light. So this is just a good kind of a safety light. You can set it down there. Got a red light, press it one more time, you're going to have a, brink, a blinking red light. So this is really good for uh, signaling. If you're ever lost in the bush, if so, you're trying to, someone's trying to find you from a long distance, this is a great light here for that. It's going to be better than just a standard sort of an on light, having the blinking going on. But when we press it one more time, see if you get a triple blink going on here. So this is the perfect sort of a safety light setting. If you imagine clipping that on the back of your bag, clipping that on the back of your backpack with the belt clip, and then that's going to be behind you, this very bright blinking pattern light. It's going to be a perfect safety light, and it's almost like a two-in-one tool sort of thing then, because with that belt clip, this is a safety light, like straight up. You don't need to worry about it being a flashlight. If you're a cyclist, if you're a pedestrian, if you're walking around when it's dark, this is going to be an optimal setting for that. Press the button again. It's just going to cycle through all those settings. 
If I want to turn it off, just hold it and it's going to turn off. Now, believe it or not, we have one more setting on this little tiny flashlight, this little finger sized little flashlight, one more setting. And this is a little awkward to be totally honest because it's a quadruple click. I even find a triple click a little tough sometimes, but a quadruple click is sometimes a little challenging, but one, two, three, four. And then this is going to give you what's called lantern mode. So this has a polycarbonate clear transparent body as you can see, and that's used to help distribute the light around. If this was just a metal casing, you couldn't really have this light on the side, you couldn't have the UV lights. So this is designed to act as a lantern. You're just going to set that down on a table and this is going to be a reading light or a space light. This is going to be able to illuminate a large area. And if you press it one more time, you even get a higher intensity lantern, right? So this is almost like a glow stick at this point. I used this last night to illuminate a table and it does a great job. I almost wish it had one more strength that was even lower because even on this low, lower setting, it is quite strong and you get quite a bit of light on this lower setting. So you get lower, higher, right? But this is a lantern mode, super, super handy. So as, and if you want to turn it off, just hold the button again. So with this little tiny light, this is why I like this as an everyday carry so much. I don't know if I'm going to keep the belt clip on. I, I think I'll take it off for now and kind of put it in my everyday carry bag when it arrives and see how I like it. My, my, my hip, hip weirdo bag kind of thing, old man bag. I don't know what you call it, whatever kids are calling it these days here. Um, five click a hey, five clicks are tough for me tom I, I, you know any more than three is a struggle for old pete here you know but but we get through so in this little tiny light it has essentially four modes hold the button and that's going to just automatically turn it on and turn it off when you release it double click and that's going to be your main light setting you get four different intensity settings there very low to very high hold that to turn it off Triple click it, that's gonna turn our light on on the side. We have our UV light. We have our very, very bright red light. We have that same brightness, red blinking light. And then we have the red triple flash light. This is a really good safety light. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then our last mode, four clicks. And then we have lantern mode, two different intensities. So that's basically the light there, very small light. So far, I can't really comment on the battery because I'm still on my very first charge here. But like any flashlight, it's going to depend what intensity you use it at. If you use it at the high intensities, it's not going to last for nearly as long as if you use it at the lower intensities. But I just love that lantern mode. The safety light and all that kind of thing, UV light, I mean, I really like that. But for me, the selling feature is this lantern mode, as this can just set down and it can be on your nightstand, it can be on a picnic table. It can be on whatever you want and just provide some good base level illumination. So there we go, guys. That's a quick look at the Rovivan A8X UV edition. I'm going to go check some UV light and the next time I stay at a hotel room and I better, I better not see anything. You know what I mean? It's just that kind of a thing. So thanks so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed checking out the Rovivan A8X and we will be back soon with another video. See you then.